and Christmas and everything. You're not interested in moving that fast, are you? That all sounds amazing, Club, but uh, do you offer any kind of guarantee that you'll be able to do that? Well, that's a good point. Let's talk about that. I'm glad. Thank you for bringing that up. Do you mind, before we talk about a guarantee, can we talk about money? How many people here, tell me the truth, you're on sodium pentothal and two martinis. How many people here are still uncomfortable about talking about money up front? Okay. Get, get over it because it's all about you. I'm the only sales trainer you'll meet. I've met nobody else. God bless Zig Ziglar, me. Rest in peace. He always said, give the prospect everything you want and then they'll return it. They don't return it. They, they, they don't always give reciprocity. On it. And I believe in reciprocity. I believe we should talk about how many of us have given million dollar presentations to people who didn't have two nickels to rub together. Oh, there you go. Hey, look, why do you, why do you think I keep this jar on my desk? <laughs> okay. it, it's, it's all about the money. So if, should we qualify Felipe? He wanted a guarantee and I'll handle that objection. I love questions of stalls and objections like that. Don't let me forget it. But do you think we need to talk about the money first? I can have the world's best guarantee. Mr. Uh, Mr. Bosans, if, um, let me ask you, do you mind if we talk about money for a second? Money's important. Would you agree, sir? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. You want to get into a nice house somewhere in Miami. Average house there is around three hundred fifty to $700,000. We probably want to get you into a nice three fifty dollars $400,000 condo somewhere, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the idea. Three bedroom, two bath, okay. um, you know, in a, in a good school district. I would okay. like that. Are you going to be comfortable with the $2,500 per month rent or is that way out of the budget? Oof, that's what I'm paying in, uh, per month in, in rent. Uh, oh. I, I think, I think we can do it. Oh, you think, or you know? Uh, I'm guessing serious. I can do it. Okay. Then when you buy a house, depending on your credit, you need 10, 20, 30% down. If I help you set up something with owner financing or uh, rent to own type of situation, would your budget allow you to put, how much would your budget allow you to put down in a, in, in as a commitment of good faith up front? Oh, 20%. That's, that sounds like a lot of money. It, of 20% is huge. Oh my God. On a three fifty, no. that's, that's 65, $70,000 that nobody has that kind of money, right? Uh, I guess I guess there are people that have that kind of money. It's just money's tight right now. You know, it, it's tight for everybody. You know, it's 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 been a good ride, good long ride here. What would your budget in round numbers allow you to put down if we could find you the right home, save you, stop paying rent, get appreciation, pay down principal, improve your credit rating, get into a house that you can go to your friends and family and say, "This is mine. I'm a man. I got a house." Ah, uh, uh, I don't know, ten thousand, fifteen thousand. Oof, we got a problem. Yeah, I know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I know. A, I... a minimum on a house like that would be $25,000. That might be a deal killer for us. What do you think? I, I think it would unless, unless yeah. I don't know. If it, it, is that the best we can do? Yeah, it's, it's minimal. They, see, if you had to buy a house like that, you'd need 65000 or more. Um, to, so twenty five is a real bargain to a lot of people. Let me ask you, so you could do 15 is that, what, yeah, that isn't what you said, is it? I think I could, yeah. You think or you know, sir? It's not uh, horseshoes. It's not maybes or close. Or close or, what do they always I, say? I got I to gotta talk to my wife and think about it and light a candle and maybe talk to my pet rock too because okay, I listen, might be able to do it. Owning a house isn't for everybody. What I was going to suggest to you, sir, before I leave, off, off the role play, listen to my words, before I leave, who's the authority figure here? Got to be the doctor in the room, not the beggar, not the, mommy, can I stay up an extra half hour? It's a school night, you know, got to be the authority, not the bully, not an intimidator, but you are the master of this universe right now. And you've got to take that, you've got to play that role. They will respect you. They want a leader right now. This is the point when you be show leader. Mr. Bosan's back in the role play. Tell you what, I'm going to make you an offer. This is called the Godfather Close. You mind if I, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Is that all right? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. If you, you talk to your lovely bride, I respect a man who respects his wife. It's a financial decision. You should, I don't, man, I, I still ask my wife if I can go to the bathroom. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, one or two fingers. Uh, could you please, use humor. Uh, you know me. Uh, could you, 
Uh, talk to your wife and get back to me by 3.30 today. You have an iPhone, don't you, sir? I do. Call me at 3.30 today sharp on FaceTime so we can have a face-to-face. -face. I'll answer your questions. If I was willing to finance the balance, if you could put half of the 25000 down, 12 5 and we can finance the other 12 5 over a period of one or two years on a rent-to-own, that wouldn't be something we could discuss today, would it? That wouldn't make a difference, would it? it it sounds like a great idea, but I still have to talk to her. And she gets up work at six, and I'm sorry, I just won't be able to get back to you. Are you newlyweds? You just got married, or you've been married a while? Been married a while for yeah, about. Thank 10 God, years. you got three kids. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've been married to this lovely woman for what seven, eight years now. You don't. You about sleep with a woman. You don't know what she thinks when you say, "Hey, honey, I want to get us into a house, and we need twelve five. What do you think your uh, lovely bride's going to say? She'll say, uh, I need to think about it because she's very conservative. Okay. So wait, so why don't you just stay in that apartment for another couple of years, that one bedroom apartment for another couple of years? It sounds like we're all done then, right? Uh, if you want to put it that way, yeah. I just put it that way. It sounds like it's over. Now that it's over, before I leave, why are you doing this? This is the lottery ticket. You just won, and you're making me put it in the shredder. Why is a smart, young, energetic young man like you doing this? I'm just amazed. You just, yeah. I don't know what you mean. Help me out. Uh, I don't know, man. You you give me a lot to think about. I was actually, I wasn't expecting to, to, to hear about this. It's just, how do I know this is going to work? You don't. We just met. I'm a stranger. You have to make a judgment. That's what a man does. All right. I'll get back to you at 3 o'clock today. I'll it's 3.30, sir, and it's on FaceTime. Be on time, please. Talk to you later. Click. That's cool. That's gut selling. It's called guts for a reason. Thank you. That you was a fight for it. You got to fight for it. That's, that's that it is. Give uh, oh, Felipe. He was tough. He was, was being wishy-washy, and and that's something that that you guys are probably gonna find uh, a lot. Non-committal prospects where like they say, yeah, I think we can do that. Like one of the greatest like guts questions is like when when you kind of like redirect them and just like you think, and, and then they'll just you'll move up in the yes ladder with that. Use when it. they say, I think, or maybe, probably, I'll talk to my spouse, what are they really saying? Read their mind. What are they really saying? They're saying, I don't want to tell you no. They don't want to tell you no. Yeah, they don't want to say no. Why do they not want to say no? Is that because they don't have the money or they don't want to hurt your feelings? They don't want to hurt your feelings. It could be a little of both. Like yeah. yeah it could be. Go ahead, Bailey. I was just agreeing with you. It could be both. And it it depends. could be both. It could be a lot of factors. It could be they just – anybody here ever have a problem saying no to people? I used to – I had. you guys know the story of my Ford F100 pickup?